everybody. This is Jason, Guido, Heartless, and I'm Fuller, and we're from Pistol Day Parade. We just wrapped up our new album, getting ready for our national release. said, dude, you ever have one of them girls that, you know, they just, they're all stuck up and their, their nose is always up in the air and they just think they're too good for you? I want to write a song about that. I want to write a song about that. So, they did. I want like the world to know that the first time before I was working with this band Pistol Day Parade, I heard this song "Rock Star's Girlfriend." Right. See ya. See ya. Bye. Bye. On the radio, yeah. and I heard that verse, and I said that guitar part needs to be on that verse, and I was singing it in the car, and I remembered it. A I still believe that that song is going to be one of our biggest songs. We play in different cities and people have never heard that song. And by the time we go to that last chorus, they're already singing along. Chuck definitely fat and the guitar's up huge and uh, he gets some really good sounds out of his crank amplification. He's great, man. Uh, it's laid back in his studio, you know, he's down there. I like doing vocals over there with him. We have a lot of fun. Chuck's an ass. He's too good. Maybe a little more moving forward as opposed to breaking up the beat. Chuck is a drummer, and we were bringing Jason into the band. I felt he was going to get a big, huge drum sound for us, and he did. And he made it just sound huge. And I'm sure you had a blast with him. That Those was... drums always makes it better. close almost like you're hitting the 808 on the floor Tom Get -boom. like feel that this thing happening that's your first producer that was a drummer isn't it mm -hmm. oh yeah it was I loved it. it was best the part where we wanted more symbols oh the loud stuff the, the bell, bell. Uh, the bell? Oh, oh the type part yeah we don't have any of that
what we're doing is we're creating this like this this pent this pent up like tense kind of turnaround thing because everything else is I can believe boom like it's all like this open shit. so it's like all the ink syncopated shit is making it so fucking right okay so I'm gonna shut up now can we do a pass with everybody Jason play just like you just fucking did I'm feeling so paralyzed. You've lost that love in your eyes. Right here, I want you to go like this. You can't deny it when you're loveless with somebody else. with an acoustic guitar and played it and when we started jamming it I don't think we were thinking outside the box enough. The song almost sounded better with Fuller just playing it on acoustic guitar. Then we got with Tim and started once again working on the guitars, beefing the guitars up and it far exceeded my expectations. It was great. Pistol Day Parade was a lot popular before we met Tim Padlin. His whole take on things is, I like what you're playing, but can you make it more interesting? And in that, he, he made our music a lot more interesting, as well as beefed up our sound. player and he's a guitar player and working with him on the guitar all our guitars you know is different than me working with Chuck them as a team together just made our album sound huge and hopefully we can continue to work with them in the future and just keep making albums and albums and albums I don't, I don't think we need to look for the next Bob Rock or Rick Rubin I think I think we've got it here in Detroit song to me and singing these lyrics that he had, Casey, uh, already. And uh, finally we were in my garage and, and sat down with an acoustic and we wrote it in like 10 minutes and brought it to the band and... And you still didn't like it? No, I still didn't really like it. <laughs> it took a while. But then I was like, okay, I like it. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's cool. When I'm low in this show, look for some more just to get That was the first song when we went in the studio and he pressed record and that was that was my one take song. It's down with 
she will. That song is one one of our most reactive songs, I believe, live. She's a freak in public. She's all pouted out and loves it. She don't. I love being in the studio. You know, that's what I that's what I do. You know, being on the road and being in the studio. That's my life. And. You know, going in the studio to re-record these tracks, I just, you know, took it, broke it down and, you know, changed a couple things without really changing the, the, the basic structure that was already written. from the original drummer was totally different. It was, it was double time, and Chuck, being the drummer he is, told me to rewrite and change it, make it simpler. And that was a whole nother song. Absolutely. Uh, to begin with, that was a song that got totally rewritten. things where you're in the studio and Tim Padlin says you know I really like what you guys did but can it be more interesting you know make it more interesting make it interesting should be the name of our album interesting <laughs> right Jason in the band and we went to recut the drums and we told Jason we said Jason you can recut all the drums on the album but you can't touch not today you know because Vinny really he played drums on a few tracks but he really crushed that song and we wanted to leave it alone and Jason Jason well, kept I, saying I kept, I kept saying just let me take a pass at it let me yeah. take a pass at it yeah let me and, play and I did it in one take and it's the most challenging song on the record, you know, a lot of rhythmic bending going on through the whole thing. Right. I did it in one take. Crushed it. Not today, not today, hey, don't try and tell me that everything's fine. No, not today, not today, don't try. Tim Padlin did his magic on it, and then he recut the drums, and Chuck did some Sound Ninja stuff on it, and it just came out awesome. Just like you always do, just like you always do, hey, don't try. Take 
sounds great, man. <laughs> Good take, all right.